Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by Ghostbed.com. Oh, oh, look at me. I'm doing jumping jacks. Look at you. You're doing oh. jumping jacks. Danthony, I'm doing Danthony jacks. Holloway has just opened up some champers. Getting sparkly some rose over here, brother. Because I'm coming to visit that. Wilmington soon, and me and Topless Stacy have dates. Do you really? On. What? Have you been talking to talk with Topless Stacy? I, I, I talk with, top, with top, Topless Stacy. You have. I'm topped with yeah. top to top. Yeah. You've, to- you've topped to her. her. Yeah, you've topped her. Yeah. <laughs> How's that combo going? I heard yeah. she's crazy fun. Oh, yeah. She's really fun. Yeah. Um, actually, she said something really nice the other day. She was like, your Instagram and Instagram comments make me realize how difficult it is to do things on social media, but you don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You've got to get to a certain level to not care that much yeah. <laughs> that you're on. So I thought uh, that was fun. I don't really know what that means, but, you know, I took it as a compliment. No, that's a backhanded show. compliment. Yeah, I don't it, think it no, was. It's not. It's not. It is. It it's like you're a piece of shit, but you kind of get away with it. So that's cool. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're the only one that can get away with your bullshit is basically what she was saying. I'll tell you why it's a compliment. Everybody wants to say that shit, but you just actually do it because you don't you don't care, which is amazing. There's only one <laughs> other guy who does that, um, and that's Amiri King. Uh, yeah, he is fucking great. Yeah. Um, the fuck. Yeah, Dan, get your shit together, bro. Yeah, why uh, is it pausing? I mean, I can hear not, you guys. It's, it's fine. It's, it's, it's not some, at all. Who cares? It's yeah. some asshole uh, from Salt Amari Lake City. King is from fucking Circuit City? funny. Salt. What's that? Like, yeah, he's, he's funny. You want to tell he the audience what? He, so yeah, hard. tell the audience why he trolls like that. It's just to do it, and, and it's, I know he's just he's just having fun. Like he talks shit to. Any Marine, he's like, are you like, they'll message him. I heard you talking shit about the military. He's like, are you a Marine? Yeah, I'll beat your ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotten so oh, like ubiquitous that people go on Dakota's stuff uh, and say, hey, it, when you met Amiri, how many times did he beat your ass? Really? <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's funny because he's gone out he's to made D- it. Dakota a bunch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, him and Dakota are buddies. Oh yeah, they're just yeah, yeah, around. yeah. They're all they're all friends, yeah. and it's uh, all funny. Uh, obviously, Mister Mister King or Doctor King, if you want to call him that, has been on the show before. Doctor King. Yeah, Wait. I, was, I told him I'd have it. I told him I'd have him out for a couple of days, and we'd do you know multi episodes. Oh, yeah. that'd be cool. Um, Talk about fun things like prison. Also, if you listen to yesterday's show, we we actually gave the drinking bro of the week to Dakota Meyer. I want to say that uh, as of twenty minutes ago. His show with uh, Joe Rogan is the number one podcast show in the world today, mm-hmm. right now. So it's a big really? deal, man. Yeah, yeah. Over so every episode, the episode, the episode, episode got that number he did, one. Yeah. His yeah. episode is number one in the world. Today. What's the YouTube looking like right now? I, I haven't pulled it up, but uh, I, I've never seen. Oh, I'll look right now. An episode because they iTunes does uh, individual episode <laughs> rankings yeah. as well, and that one is number one in the world. Usually, it's like. What the daily Jesse or like my favorite murder or something like that? But uh, yeah, for episodes. But uh, man, Joe Rogan's it's been nine hundred k. It's almost. It's it. almost. Yeah, it's almost at a million views. Yep. Amazing, amazing. Uh, D'Anthony, we are drinking some bubbly over here in the middle of the afternoon. Bubbles, bubbles. Because why? We finally got a liquor sponsor. It's uh, Luke Belair. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, this is like the nice, like fancy shit too. It's the. Uh, <gasps> God damn it. <laughs> oh, Jesse. Wow. Jesse. It's, it's all over herself. Go ahead. Sales, sales wise, it's the third largest uh, sparkling in, in the United States. Yeah. But when it's actually it's some. actually a product of France. So it's number one in the world. So they, they actually sent a case. We have it for you here when you get to Wilmington. Yep. So we have it here and we also have a oh, bathrobe so for you. I've got uh, to we, bootleg it. Like I've got to like like put it in my car and drive it back home. No, no you have to dude. drink it you're all drink when it you're all here. here. We could ship it to you, but we're that not going true. to. Actually, yeah. that's right because so. I could have like a really romantic date with Top of Stacy with like a case, yeah, yes. champagne, yes. And it's, oh man, it's all coming together. Not only this, but like this is the good shit. Uh, so, anyways, good, they're, yeah. they're they're a new sponsor, LukeBelair dot com forward slash Drinking Bros. They're on through the holidays because you've got to get a look. You, you go over to somebody's house for a holiday party. Yep. You got to bring a, a bottle of bubbly. Um, here's we need the to do a liver with that stuff. You know, what I, I mean? know, dude. So yeah. he, he, here's the beauty of this. It's l u c b e l a i r e dot com forward slash Drinking Bros. You get 30% off. So you show up to a, a party. Damn. 
yeah, typically this shit's like 50 bucks. Uh, now it's only 25 bucks, and it's like, hey, just buy a four-pack, and then you're set for the holidays when you go over to people's houses and shit. Jesse's that, drinking Daniel, out of the bottle. Was that math, was that math correct, Daniel? No, it's actually, 30, I, think, no. I think it's more than the 30% th- off became half off. I think it's, I think <laughs> it's, it's close. <laughs> it's close. It's, it's close. good. It's yeah. good. I, I think it's it, really good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's like 27 bucks uh, yeah. for, for a bottle, but these, like this is the nice shit for the holidays where it's like, hey, man, usually it's. It's super pricey. This makes you look like yeah. a better friend. Is what well, it I've got. Like, I'm gonna drink I've got, my ass off on it, and I'm gonna film myself super hammered for a commercial for them. Oh, dude, yeah. they would love it. Yeah, uh, we talked Just to the get wrecked. We talked to the owners yesterday. They actually took yeah. the call, which is amazing. And we were like, Jesus, wow, this is yeah. I was like, hey, now I like them. I know. Now I, I really like, like them. You guys built the company. That's amazing. And now you're on the phone with us. Uh, so go to <laughs> LukeBelair.com forward slash Drinking Bros. And, Where are uh, they located? Stock up for the holidays. France, well, actually. Yeah, they're so they. Oh. They, they, they make they France. use two types of grapes. The uh, brutes obviously are a Chardonnay grape. Mm-hmm. Every, everybody knows that. And then the rosé grapes. They, they've sourced them from the two regions in France where those grapes are growing the best. Yeah, basically. Yeah, and but where where are they at? Are they in France? I, I, it sounded like they were in France because uh, when I hear sounds, I know cities, and I think I was like, fr- I heard like they're like in it Napa smelled Valley like France over the phone. A, yeah, yeah. We could take a trip to Napa. I know Jesse would want to go to Napa. Oh, oh you know yeah, it. I know she would. The um, way to my heart. I've always wanted. I've always wanted to fucking like take a girl to Napa at a bed and breakfast. Take right? Top with Stacy. No, go to first of all. Head on to Salt Whoa, 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 whoa! Come on. First of all, about getting a girl from Wilma on the east coast over the west coast i don't need to do that i can find someone on the west yeah. coast. there's a winery here too uh you can go yes, drink some horrible. wine is it east, really? yeah. it's east, not napa valley though is it yeah. terrible yeah it's terrible oh, it, it's east know. coast wineries.angelfire.com that's probably their website because you don't want to go on <laughs> east coast winery no, they're the all really out. sweet <laughs> yeah. uh, it's angelfire.com do you remember that weird movie uh, sideways. Yes. 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 Yeah. It had the. It had the. Uh, weird. The, the movie. reason Best I remember movie. that is nominated is for an Oscar. It, it had. Well, the only reason I remember it is because it had that that doctor from Grey's Anatomy getting banged out on. Yeah, on remember? The bed. Ah. Yeah. It was like a Dude. graphic sex scene. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like that's the only it wasn't reason just, like, you remember passionate. it. It was like. It was like just hardcore side bed fucking boning. Yeah. 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 They yeah. yeah. And we're really going for it. Well, there was. Uh, yeah. Speaking of that, there was. Do you remember that scene from the show Girls? I never watched it. I just saw this on Pornhub, but it was uh, Brian Williams' daughter getting her ass eaten on like at the kitchen sink, basically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Girls, girls pushed it, man. There was yeah. a, there really was did. a shot where sh- we'll give them that, that is that, the only thing we'll give them. Yeah, this girl gets a load blasted on her. Yep, and it was the most oh, wow. realistic looking yeah. load of yeah. all time and i was yeah. like man what show is this it's called lena girls Dunham. so lena dunham that girl that Terrible raped her little show, sister though. and she's fat and gross yes. remember her? yep that's the only she way i know how raped it. her little sister well, she, i mean apparently while her little sister was sleeping next to her she finger blasted her out or some shit that is weird yeah she took a lot of heat for it um so yeah. no. uh, at any rate uh, don't take a girl to napa go to sonoma that's or just go to luke yeah, i'm from novato I don't give a fuck where you're from. Don't go to Napa. Napa sucks. Go you to Sonoma. Suck. Yeah. I mean, Dan, Napa suck. doesn't suck. Yeah, Napa doesn't suck. Dan, Dan, Dan Napa, knows nothing about wine. There's nothing but Listen, tourists I want to ride on a train. I mean, true, fair. Yes, I want to see you on that train. I want to see Can you we going go, on that train. Go to Can Sonoma. we take a train trip and do a drinking show? Ah, oh, would be great, oh, actually. Yeah, that, that'd yeah. be a blast. Maybe out of Colorado? Uh, why Colorado? Why? No. I just know that there's a train there. We should go up to PCH. <laughs> What, what do you know of any trains? Yeah, we'll go up to PCH and yeah. a train from fucking That's Southern California. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What the fuck is PCH? The uh, Pacific oh Coast highway. highway. You what just said you're from Novato, <laughs> you stupid fuck, and you don't yeah. know what the PCH is? <laughs> what what Whatever. even yeah, is we could space? Take, we could take the skunk train. What's the skunk what? train? Is that yeah. weed? You never heard of the skunk train? No, what is it? It's out of uh, Mendocino or Fort Bragg. Fort Bragg, uh, Fort Bragg California. Yeah, that's a nice spot, by the way. Is it? I love. Yeah, it's. It's. I used to go camping up there all the time. Dude, Google it right now, Dan. Skunk train. Yeah, pull up the skunk, skunk train. I mean, train? pull up the skunk train. I went on it when I was a kid. It was. I was so excited. Okay. okay. Before there were all these dispensaries, Mendocino County and Humboldt County were where all the weed on the West Coast was grown. Oh, I, I know about Humboldt County, my man. I've been there and I've been under the blades. Yep. You know, I've seen under the documentary the under the yeah. blades, man. When yeah, they were man, the, the, the cops were looking for me. Uh, but in the meantime, get get some of this Luke Belair uh, from LukeBelair.com. 
forward slash drinker bros champagne wine welcome to the show and uh we're getting fucking housed off this today damn it i'm not i know you will be though you'll be here in a couple weeks uh should i go get a white claw what? Yeah, claw. You're, you want you're, claw dog? I tell you what, at the at the next sponsor, why don't you claw dog? You're gonna be uh, here we'll in mm-hmm. a couple weeks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm I did driving. not know that. November. <laughs> yeah, November. Yeah, I'm stay. I'm actually staying at the big house this time with you. Yeah. What? Yeah. He's, yeah. Uh, stand up in the guest room upstairs. <laughs> you're staying yeah. with uh, Ross's mom. Yes. Nice. Wait, what? Wait, yeah. what? Oh, Hi. you didn't Wait, know what? that? Oh, you didn't know she was. Oh, no, oh never mind. yeah. She requested you, oh, Jared. Are you guys I was gonna? Bringing, I'm bringing a real bruiser for you. Are, are you, you guys really? Wait, are you? Yep. Are you guys I gonna have do a surprise? A, you should, are you free for a surprise? Oh, God, <laughs> I have a Jesse what? surprise. Who is it? It's is it? Uh, I, is it an oldie but a goodie? Is it a no, rerun? No, it's a new. Is it a it's recycle? A new one. Okay. It's a, it's a new one. Okay. No, I only I only use recycles for like really Down. high end events that we have to oh, go to. Oh, sure. So thank I you. Know, thank you. Because they're pre vetted. I know that yeah. we're gonna be. Yeah. I know that we're gonna be disappointed. Yeah. 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 You're right. You're right. Yeah. You, know, you know what you're getting into. Yeah. I just want her to sleep on the table. Oh God. <laughs> Cry in front of other CEOs. Yeah. Just yeah. mascara run, yes. running down. Just saying things like like she's just kind of bobbling. Like, I can't wait to choke on a dick. Yeah, bring yeah. that one back, William. <laughs> bring that one to the next, the next big event. Is please. she gonna steal anything? Yeah. No, I, I, no, I, don't I think she's fine. I don't know. Uh, that question came up three times. Dan, did you find that skunk train? Nah, I did. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Oh, it's okay. not worth. What do you mean it? it's not a big deal? It's not worth talking about. It's not That's worth your what time, it is. Is what you're saying? What is it, Dan? How are we gonna find a train that we can have my dream come true? Dude, you can get on any train anywhere and forever. make it a skunk I want train. Yeah. All you can three get of you to be on the train. Yeah, you too. can get a car and, and I a want train, Ross and it's to not wear that expensive. hat. I'll go, I'll, I'll wear I think this we hat. should. I think I'll we should all hat. go in costume, like 1920s. Like, ah, yeah, we're I think train. we should go Ooh. as I like that. I think we should go as Power Rangers. No. no, fair. No, no. I want to go 1920s. Like Jesse's got bright red like, lipstick on. Yes, everything else is black and white. You got to talk in that voice. Oh, yeah, exactly. we're here on the train. <laughs> Come on, Jared. Aren't and then you we so just do excited? Really, we, we do really loud horse math with each other, so everyone around us is like, what the fuck are these yeah. guys talking uh, about? Horse hey, like, math? All aboard. We, we, so we only call each other sport the entire trip. All aboard, yeah. sport. sport. Yes. You look sport. great, sports. You know, most of these cars can only hold 3,200 pounds. And from my math, it looks like we have 6,000. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, if you take the average human, he weighs at least 450 pounds with clothes on. And then there's, there's someone that's like, hey, man, that is, that is actually on. not correct. Yeah, I wait, mean, the uh, average human? No. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah. No. You guys, <laughs> so here's, on, here's what we'll man. do. You guys dress like that and talk like that, and I will be your uh, on-the-spot fact checker. No, 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 no. You're just like I think Dan, shutting down Dan everything. Dan dresses yeah, like, up as incorrect. a butler. So mm. like ah. he keeps running back and forth and serving just us. I great. like that idea. <laughs> Dan that seems would be to be really, really into funny. it. Yeah, yeah like, I would love that. He would love like, that. <laughs> yeah, but could you imagine like people are stopping him and he's like, no, 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 no. I'm just their butler. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I, that's, <laughs> not, that's not what I would say. I'm like, do you think you deserve to be buttled? Yeah, <laughs> because these three I don't think deserve so. to be buttled. 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 That's what. That's how you say it, by the way. These three gave me my freedom. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. So I'm doing Here this in blackface. Hey, is what yeah, you're okay. Hang on. Definitely hang on. No, no cut, blackface. Cut, 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 cut. Um, <laughs> no, not a thing. Not a thing. Jared, you always take it there, man. No, what? It needed you to be. It doesn't. It doesn't always have to mean America. That was the 1920s. You know? France Jesse. had indentured yep. service. Yes, they did. <laughs> so did England. Yep. So did Scotland. You know what? Most Scots people are really mad that we made the word clan bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's did you know that? Because that was true. like, Scotsman. that was a thing. They had clans. And yeah. it's like, you know, even uh, Iron Maiden, the, the, the lead singer is from Scotland, and he has to like explain this. So he's like, this is called I'm a Klansman. Yes, I know. You guys in America, that's not sure, a really good sure, thing. Sure. But in Scotland, you know, in, in the other, you know, places of the world that exist, that's not just you. Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine hating someone so bad that you dress up like a ghost? <laughs> that seems like a, like, where, where? Just to like. How does that, that make where sense? where that came from? 
I don't know, dude. I, it was a way to hide your identity, and I think a, a bed sheet was the only thing big enough back in the day. So basically what you're saying is Antifa is the new clan. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Sort of. I mean, now you can just get a ski mask and roll around and do whatever. So Word. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll get into Antifa actually next week. We, How do you, we have an interview coming up. Oh, with, that's right. Uh, yeah. We won't spoil who it is, but yeah. uh, wild one. Wild one. Uh, let's hop into the show, shall we? Fake news. Chinese concentration camps for Muslims. Uh, women who escaped tell a grim, grim story. Uh, speaking to the Washington Post, the women echo the experiences of others who have escaped the estimated thousands of concentration camps built in Zhejiang, China. Uh, what's the fucking deal here, Dan? Um, well, look, there's a bunch of ethnic Muslims mm -hmm. of varying degrees, right? Varying degrees from different places like Kazakhstan and all that shit that's right there. If you go look at a fucking map, assholes. Anyways, uh, <laughs> well, Chinese people aren't really into that. Right. They're why, not into why not? It. Oh, I'm sorry. What? They're not into just different people? No, they don't yes. like that. So not at all. Yeah, and that's, yeah. that's true. Yes. Yeah, yes. so basically they put them in camps. They're not great. They're, they're like... Uh, are they concentration camps? That's what these people are calling them. I think that might be a little much. Okay. Uh, but it's it's more like a refugee camp, but they're fucking with people hard. Like uh, the Chinese people are raping people, apparently. Oh, Jesus really? Christ. Which Wait. is the least of their problems. They're also forcing people to get abortions and doing forced sterilization as well, which is wow. getting kind of close to genocide, right? Yeah. I, look, I knew they were on like a what? A one kid system over there? Yeah. If it's a girl, they can have mm -hmm. another kid to try to get a boy and that's it. Yep. Um, why doesn't the rest of the world know about this? I don't know. I mean, it's uh, it's it's very they bizarre. Don't care. It's, it's it's not it's not Cardi B's new song. Yeah, it's the no, it's, they kind of know. But the way that they're um, like masking it is very different than what's actually happening. So I've I seen mean, them is, go into there and look at it, and it's just like they're in classrooms and they're like learning and yeah. right. They make yeah, that, it look uh, so nice. That that uh, political group that Jared and I are in, that where we troll people all the time. Mm -hmm. There's two or three people in there that are far lefties, and they're like always equivocating about China, like, "Well, we're fucking." Uh, he's trying to Trump, of course. He's trying to fucking upset our trade deals with China, blah, blah, blah. At least they have this or that. I'm like, you're talking about China, bro. Right. And, and by the way, the, the reason Listen, why... I, yeah, go ahead. I'm, I'm just going to say, this all falls in line with my, you know, my new book, Everyone is Full of Shit. Yeah. Um, because it's like, you, you have all these people that are, you know, screaming this activision, uh, activism. Mm -hmm. uh, like for climate change and all this other bullshit, but it's like, no, there's, there's borderline genocide going on yeah. in other countries and things like that. It was kind of a, a, a conversation I had uh, recently with a, another war veteran that, you know, he, he kind of brought it up. He was like, so what are your honest thoughts on, on, on what we did in Iraq? And I said, you know what? It's kind of bullshit because they should have, if they were sending us over there to fucking fix Iraq and make it a better place, they should have let us do it. And instead of use the excuse of when we see women and children being abused, they just tell us to turn a fucking blind eye because, oh, that's part of their culture. We can't interfere with that. It's like, no, motherfuckers, <laughs> we invaded this country because it was fucked up. Now we have to unfuck it. So we need to punish fucking evil and, and, and fix with what's right with what's right. So it's like it, it's just bullshit. You've that's got all this fucking crazy shit going on over there and nobody nobody's loud about it because it's not part of the agenda. Yeah. Yeah, pretty and, much. And, and the reason why I led with that is because now you have this controversy with the Houston Rockets and James Harden and uh, it, somebody put out a tweet. I think it was the owner of the Houston Rockets. Yeah. Um, about <clears throat> what was going on. He supports the Hong Kong people, you know. Right. Riding he, against. He's, by the way, just for everyone's information, he's wrong. Hong, Hong Kong becoming uh, its own independent state is like Hawaii becoming its own country. Like it doesn't make any sense. Oh, I, and, yeah, yeah. It, this is this is all nonsense. It's all they're like the the Hong Kong people over there are kind of like Antifa here, like they fucking attack civilians and shit all the time. Only seventeen percent of that country wants to be an independent state. It's a minority. More people of Hong Kong. Yes, okay. more more people in the United States are outright socialists, not democratic socialists, but outright socialists than there are people in Hong Kong who want to have an independent state. But if China has the authority and power over American industry where if somebody says something they don't like and they can start 
pulling hundreds of billions of dollars out of our economy like with a snap mm -hmm. that is a fucking problem because the yes. the story we led with that's who these people are yes like everybody out there the nba katowing to them and all these people equivocating about china and this and that fuck you yeah and and that's why i wanted to to go further into this because when it comes to money right that the NBA is going to fucking bow down to China. Yeah. They have a massive market for NBA over there. Kobe Bryant was one of the first athletes to figure it out. He's been going over there for 15 yeah. years. And Steph Curry's on that train too. Uh, Steph Curry's now on that train. Uh, Stefan Marbury was over there, played for years. He was making 20 mil a year over there back in the fucking mid 2000s. And they couldn't figure out why he didn't come back to the NBA. They gave him his own shoe deal yeah. over there because let's face it nike is all making their fucking shoes over i there. think he played eight years and he made like 150 million dollars and this was in the mid 2000s wow. yes yeah yeah and so with with this shit that's going on with the nba uh because now they they had a scrimmage over there and they said look you can't say or do certain things now they didn't even televise it i don't think no over here no and yeah. and, and because they weren't allowed to yep. and uh the, the way that they bow down to China <laughs> is the way that everybody else is. Same with uh, Hollywood and everybody Hollywood, else. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So you're going to start seeing more and more of this. But, you know, at the top of the show, this is what they really do hey, over there. But the nobody the knows day, about it. It's consumerism. We have, you know, three, we're barely cresting 340 million people. They have 4 billion. Like, that's nope. a lot more consumers. 1.2 no. billion. Yeah, 1.2 billion. They have 1.2 billion? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's still a lot more than 300 billion. In that, in that he's, region, he's, there's about 4 billion people to there. To be fair, though, Jared was thinking about how many burgers have been eaten at McDonald's, and I believe it's 4 billion. So. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, you know how many filet of fishes that is? We're Ooh. not going to have cod. Did in I ever? In two years, cod is no. gone. <laughs> no. Yeah. Have you seen how big the ocean is? Did I ever tell you about my McDonald's commercial? No. That I want to do? So it's. Uh, one guy comes out, it's a big ass field, right? You see one guy dancing, break dancing style, like stomp the yard. Sure. No, when I said no, I said I didn't want to hear this. It's too story. late because sure. I've already started. Okay. So, okay. Well, then you're skipping one of these articles. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope. nope. we let off with your bullshit. So, let's, uh, anyways, so one guy's dancing. It pans out. There's a group of people dancing, doing great dancing, right? Yeah. Pans out more, then pans out again. There's a sea of people dancing. And then all of a sudden, the music stops. And Ronald McDonald walks out onto a stage okay. with dead silence. And he does a much better dance. And then it just says, billion served. Oh, boy. <laughs> that, is, uh, that is a long, long way for that joke. A long, long way for that that's, joke. That's a fucking 30-second commercial, guy. <laughs> hey, yeah. That's a fucking good yeah. joke, dude. That was, that was like my, my Costco joke I sent you guys. Wait. I like uh, I like the Costco. Wait, joke. which what was the Costco joke? <laughs> Feel the, free. The, now it's your turn, Jared. Yeah, you got to the, tell us the McDonald's taboo. joke. Yeah, the, it was it was the the family playing taboo. Yeah, <laughs> explain it for the audience because they weren't they weren't on our. Uh, yeah, our it was one line. of those. It was one of those things that I I cut videos that probably aren't good for the internet, so I just text them to people and get my my rise out of that. And it was a family <laughs> my rise playing out of that. the game of taboo, and the brother draws the card and he goes, "Oh God, I'm not," and he goes to put the card back, and the dad's like, "What? What's?" what's wrong? What does it say? He goes, I I'm not even going to, he's like, where'd you get this game? And the mom's like, we got it at Costco. He goes, well, what the fuck? And the dad's like, well, what'd it say? He says, it said, eat your sister's pussy. Yeah. <laughs> and the dad goes, no, 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 no. And he looks at, he goes, oh, it says that. And he shows the mom. I was like, yeah, it definitely says that. He's like, well, you know, it's family game night. We got to play the game. And he mm -hmm. looks at the sister. He goes, get your pants off. Your brother's eating your pussy. Yeah. And she yeah. goes, what? It's and on then the it card. cuts to me. Yep. You don't, you don't want to get... You nope, don't, not shopping at Costco anymore. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to get into a Jumanji situation wow. where you play the game wrong and you get trapped in it for 100 years. Exactly. Yeah. Eat the your dad, sister's pussy the dad right was, there. Yeah, the dad was thinking ahead. He was just trying to protect his family. Black Rifle I mean, I just <laughs> bankrupt in an hour after that yeah, sketch came out. Yeah, if you out. were in charge of the sketches for Black Rifle. Because, by the way, I, I, I laughed for a thousand years at that, and I was like, where is he going to put this? And yeah. then I was like, oh, nowhere. 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 No, this was just, nowhere. This was just one of those He just needed Texas, to get out of his Texas, brain. Because I saw that clip. Yep. like. I was I was surfing through I, I watched it and started laughing so hard. <laughs> I saw I saw it too on Pornhub. It's was, fucking hilarious. Yeah. Oh my god, it was so funny. There's just there's a lot of gold on there. Like there's with a lot, forced yeah. acting porn. Yeah. Oh yeah. Big it's fun. fucking funny. <laughs> big fan. Uh, by the way, mm -hmm. just 
before we move on from this, uh, yeah. China's my China and all their fucking little dick suckers. That's my get fucked of the week. All of you people, the oh. NBA, China. huh? What? Oh, <laughs> the NBA. <laughs> okay. The NBA Hollywood. All these NBA players Listen, who are fucking pussies. So they're they're brave enough to fucking take a knee during our goddamn national anthem to protest some fucking crackhead getting his brains pushed in by a fucking baton on the street. But they're fucking not brave enough to stand up to fucking China. Fuck you, James Harden, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just once this airs, there's there's one dude in China that's sitting by a phone that just says China. And another, a secretary comes in and hands him a little piece of paper. It says, Drinking Bros was talking shit about us. Oh, I, look, yeah. 100%. You oh, guys well, heard what happened with South Park this week, right? Yeah, and then they put out an apology, which was not a real apology. No, it wasn't. It was exactly what you would expect from those two assholes. It's uh, Parker and Stone, yeah. yeah. Uh, th- True, those guys yeah. do not give a fuck. That episode, by the way, uh, got banned in China. Oh, yeah. So. All of South Park has been scrubbed what completely was it, what, from what, the internet. What was the episode about? Uh, so so it, it, it's, it, it's about this, and it's about the NBA. And uh, they're able to do it so quickly and get the animation out so fast yeah. that, you know, this, it was up 48 hours after this story broke this week. And immediately China banned their, the episode. And then they put out a of fake course. apology to China, which was really <laughs> fucking funny. But they didn't just ban this episode. They scrubbed all South Park-related stuff from all of the Chinese internet. The no internet way. and I'm everything. surprised it was it's even like, on there in the first place. Yeah, yeah I am real. too, actually. They've been making fun of everybody for fucking Seriously. 30 years now. And China By the way, doesn't those, rank it. Yeah, they don't. Uh, <laughs> those, those, guys don't are, rank it. those guys are both worth somewhere in the four to $500 million range per person. They don't give really? two fucks about China. No. God damn it, man. Nope. They're above... I allow. would be fucking with people a lot more yeah. if I, I had know. that kind of money. The only reason they yeah, still make this show is because they want to fuck with people. Obviously, they don't need the I fucking would money. Put, yeah. I would I would budget probably 15 million a year just to fuck with Alyssa Milano. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah, I would love really, it. Really, really great. Like show up at her house and take all melt. the recycling out of her recycling bin and put it in the garbage can every day. Ooh, and yeah. then take pictures of it. Yeah. Yep. Tweet it. Yeah, uh, just because once that garbage hits the street, it's community property, right? We learned that in the burbs. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you, you just keep throwing sex dolls that you've had made um, of no, Tony Danza par- in the yard. Par- we parachute them in. Yeah, of like, Tony oh. Danza. Every, every day, three sex dolls of Tony Danza are parachuted into her yard. Yep, and, and then it just says one. It just they're same, wearing the same T-shirt that says "Who's the boss now." Over and over and over again, and just yeah. keep pelting them. Yeah. Dances out of the sky is what we want to see. We get her, we get her to fall in love with Jack Mandeville, and then Jack breaks up with her publicly. <laughs> <laughs> Not in a million years would she date Jack. I <laughs> don't know. She, probably, she might. No, nah. she might. He would have to. She, I mean, I think he could act like the perfect guy for her yeah. right he knows all the yeah, things he he's supposed to say He'd wear a, yeah. a salmon polo tucked yes. in with penny loafers yes go, oh hi hi miss Alyssa. you said a salmon polo and i honestly i don't know i've been smoking weed all day my sure, head sure. my head immediately thought of a polo made of actual salmon <laughs> oh, okay. okay yeah and now that's all in right. your head and you, forever, yeah right? and uh, you thought Huh, yeah, makes I'll, sense. I'll say that out loud. I mean, it's Jack sure. Mandeville. Half the time he's got yeah, no right. shirt on and a word written in Sharpie across yeah, his stomach. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like... <laughs> Usually just says dog. Yeah, how much <laughs> How much weirder would, would a salmon shirt be? Yeah, <laughs> you're right, you're yeah, right. You're, right, you're, you're actually right. right on that one. <laughs> Very Lady Gaga. <laughs> uh, by the way, speaking Lady of Gaga. Alyssa Milano, if you are, if you are going to have sex with her, do it on a ghost bed from ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Uh, it's great for the Milano position. It is, which is from which behind, is just whining. No eye contact. <laughs> yep. No, it's just uh, arguing. No, she's 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 <laughs> it's it's doggy style, but she's growling at a picture of Donald Trump the whole uh, time. You can only fuck her, you can only fuck her on the left side of the bed. Um, man, that's a nice political joke off the off the cuff. Oh man, we <laughs> need better watch some out. Memes. You're gonna find yourself on the Daily Show. We need some memes of this. This like episode, we need to start circulating. Memes of how the only way to fuck Alyssa Milano is on the left, the, on the left side of the yeah, bed. Yeah, it's on the left side of the bed. <laughs> uh, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Get your mattress today. 36 months pay as you go program. It's like 38 bucks a month. Uh, no one's doing it like ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. If you're military or first responder, you get an extra 15% off. Scroll to the bottom of the page. 
Click it, take it, and rip it. Uh, they deliver right to your house, comes in a box, put it upstairs, pop it open. Three hours later, you're ready to bone. Uh, I, you know what you It would doesn't do? really take three hours. You know what you should do with the, <laughs> with the mattress is boner when it comes out so it's not fully yeah. inflated yet, and then just, and just leave her there, like on the... What are you, just soaking? The flaccid bed. Uh, the, the bed takes the a couple soak? hours to rise to full position, you know? Uh, yeah, do it in the first 30 minutes and then just leave it. I know? do it while the bed is still in the box. Ah, <laughs> on top of the box. Right yeah. in the box. Yeah, you, nice. can, you can prop her up on the box. Yeah. yeah, prop her up on the box and then use those uh, ghost pillows yep. as kind of, uh, what do you call those? Uh, what's the fuck pillow called? Um, is that what it's called, Jesse? Uh, the wedge. The wedge. wedge. There it is. Oh, man, I lost else. my wedge. Did, did, oh, you, did you own a wedge at one point? <laughs> He let I his did. Uh, I had kids the we- play I had with the it, ramp, probably. The yeah. ramp and the wedge. He was using no, it. No. He, had, he had the Liberator. I know. He was using someone it threw it away. Liberator, I remember. Right. It was thrown away. Never mind. He was using it as a dirt bike ramp, and uh, this Oof. didn't work out. Yeah. <laughs> it that was really ex- didn't get the expensive. height. Yeah. Have you ever used <laughs> one of those, Jared? Thrown in the- yes. He had, yeah. a, he had a Liberator. I had him. When he, we, we lived together in 2008. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. That's a long time. Yeah, but was then it I the also had another same one. one? It no, it's oh, the same wait. one. There's no. cum everywhere. Was it really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Hey, hey so oh, if yeah, you yeah, shine you like a black light on I that text I sent thing? you yesterday, Jesse? What'd you say? I said, you like that text I sent you yesterday? I Dude, laughed for, steer clear, bro. <laughs> I laughed for a thousand years. <laughs> when you mention her name, it scares me. Because yeah. I think that you're maybe like thinking something, okay? Exactly. <laughs> steer clear, buddy. We'll, we'll That's tell, the only one I tell you. We'll tell the Stay audience. Stay away from her. We'll tell the audience what happened is Instagram disabled Looking at what everybody Stalking. else liked. Stalking. Yeah, right? Yes. That, yeah. That, that, that's yes. What it was that, they should have never had that anyway. It was a weird was feature, annoying. right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it's supposed like, to be like. I felt like, weird when I was using it's it. It's supposed to be like a personalized explore feed, basically, right? So you can see what your friends are liking, not just what the rest of the internet is like. But it, you I, see what they comment on stuff. Like, it's, it's it was weird. way too. Yeah, it's still yeah. weird. It was just weird. Uh, I, like, I, I, I don't want to see that. Because then it, it's like, what if it my was friends also like aren't liking my shit? Facebook used to announce to you, like, announce when you added a new friend. Like, oh, you added this person. People yeah. Like, I remember that. Yeah. You yeah. did. And then the, the like, other 40 people in your queue who you didn't like, they're like, I don't understand yeah. why you liked, you yeah. know, mm-hmm. why fucking Rico's I'm still waiting post. to get, yeah. I'm still getting, I'm still waiting to get added. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, exactly. I, I'm getting added. I was getting kind of tired of my girlfriend always getting mad that I was liking my wife's pictures. So yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Uh, exactly. That's what, like mine's <laughs> that's your fucking was. business, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Jesus that, uh, Christ. Get that's back exactly in the cage. It. Yesterday. <laughs> Yesterday, a bunch of psychopathic fucking women got pissed. Went through the roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. lost. They lost their number one tool. And this particular girl that you texted me about was a number one, probably yep. freaking with the a fuck bullet. out. Number one with a bullet. She woke up and because Instagram I've, did, I've, did not announce probably this. Probably a letter to Instagram. <laughs> oh yes, oh, yeah. from her lawyer. <laughs> yep. It's like yeah. <laughs> Dude, You're don't, Jared, don't. You're getting close. <laughs> You're dancing with fire. Yeah, do I not. didn't do that. <laughs> Fucking dance You mentioned it. her name. It scares Listen. me. Listen. No, it I didn't. scares me. That's all. No, I didn't say a name. He didn't say Listen. a name. Listen. No, he mentioned hey. their name in the text, and I'm like, oh, buddy, buddy, yeah. buddy. Yeah. You're thinking about her. But, the, no, but no, that was a huge story yesterday because uh, a lot of people were like, oh, because to, to the people who were pissed off about it, then there was the other side where they were like, why are you pissed off about this? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And I think there was people that didn't even know it was an option. They were like, man, I went this whole time. I never even used it's it. It's also one of those make things sure, if you're Make sure the boys know that this, this episode is going to have a, a, a few bleeps in it. No. I, we didn't say no. We didn't name. say her name. We didn't say, we didn't name. say her no, name. But, but, but if you bleep what, what uh, Dan was singing, that would be funny. <laughs> Oh, like it really oh yeah. Would be okay. High. Okay. Yes. One minute. Like you're right. He did yes, ruin yes. it. Right. Yeah. No. You're right. You're right. I didn't ruin anything. <laughs> no. Ruiner. Just, People who really just, pay attention know that there's two of those. There is. Ooh, that's. Uh, there true. are. There is. That's there's. There's. True. There is two of those. At any so. rate, uh, fuck that. Well, actually, in, in reality, there's three. Well, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's right. You've been you've been there the, that country quite a few times. Oh yes. Yeah. You've dipped yeah. your your quill in the ink, so to speak, up there. 
<laughs> You've put your moose horn into the most. Right, 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 right. You're just adding more bleeps to this. No, we're, not. <laughs> we're absolutely not. Uh, <laughs> next up, uh, forget Ropex. Tomatoes boost your sperm quality. Who said this? Dan? I, don't, I don't believe that. This is a, a legit study. Is it really? That Dan real. did by in the his tomato apartment. Society? Yeah. No, by the Tomato <laughs> Society. No, it's by <laughs> the Society of Tomatoes. It's ah. by a university in fucking uh, England, dum dum. Uni- yeah. University tomatoes of Sheffield, society. which has been around for like six thousand years. Never heard of it. Uh, yeah, you're from America, dum dum. No, they don't grow tomatoes in England. You can't do it in that weather, can you? No, I don't. I don't think you can. No, I, look across the board, England. You can't grow any vegetables, right? Uh, yes, you can. Yeah, no. you can. You absolutely can. Oh, beets. for sure you can. What about beets? Things that are in the ground, in ground <laughs> vegetables? You can grow tomatoes, yeah. yeah quite well. Those are above ground. Yeah. Jesse, that's yeah. too cold for tomatoes. Nope. Nope. It's not. Yeah. Tomatoes don't care about that. They do. They nope. really do. It's actually do. only cold the same tomatoes amount of time that it's cold Tomatoes are the only uh, vegetable that has feelings. At any rate. Yeah. Yeah. What even is science? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the answer yeah, to that doctors is... Doctors are boring. <laughs> There's an enzyme in stupid. tomatoes that it doesn't like make you have a higher sperm count mm-hmm. and it, or any of that stuff, but it makes the quality of the individual sperm like exponentially higher, like 10 times better or something like that. And so, what so, do you benefit from that? Yeah, uh, you can repregnatize whores better. Oh, okay. Ah. So it's better for <laughs> fertilization. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yep. So I've, I've, I've always been curi- curious that, about this. Is that an act to repregnatize? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pregnatize. So, so during the pregnatizing process, right. this was my question, is is it the chunky stuff or the clear stuff that actually gets you pregnant? Uh, clear. Really? Yeah. Did not know that. thought it was the yeah. chunky stuff. No, so uh, low sperm count usually is chunkier. Ah! Oh wow! Okay. I have a lot of yeah. low sperm counts then. I yeah. Think, let me. Let me. Yeah. Let me, why don't you? Yeah. Why uh, don't you uh, make that. sure because there's going to be a lot of people listening a lot that go. Of questions, Wait a minute. But a lot of answers. Wait a minute. That's why this is. I'm trying to repregnate. Really yeah. I'm trying to repregnate some some uh, weirs. Repregnate some now. Warners. What wow. I need to do is uh, repregnatize. Yes. And, uh, repregnatize. Yeah. Yeah. That's that I dude from Workaholics. To, I just need to repregnatize uh, my lady. Uh, if you don't uh, mind, I'm going to repregnatize my lady in front of you. Is that cool? Are we cool? Um, this episode, by the way, they will ban all of us for <laughs> the end of time. This will probably be the last episode of Drinking Yeah, Bros we've already made ever. fun of. I'm, I'm, I'm saying go go heavy on that beep button. No, nope, fuck that. No. Anyways, uh, really go. I kind of feel like that... Uh, myself and this asshole, Jared, especially should never eat another tomato again if this is the case. Cause I agree. Because you've got enough, and I don't want any. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Can yeah. you imagine, though, if your job was to sit around and look at cum in a microscope all day? How do you explain that to your parents? Like, oh, I'm a doctor, a scientist, actually. What yeah. You, yeah. What do you do? I stare at cum all day. Look at jizz. Yeah. I look all at long. cum all day. Ugh. Smells like God bleach. damn it. I bet they talk like that, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I bet they Most, do. Hey, Mom and Dad. Most right? doctors sound like that. Yeah, they yeah. sound like petulant little kids. Yes. I well, think I'm a from scientist. The, from the no. South, mostly. Yeah. <laughs> I think Ross's next book needs to be about uh, someone in the Middle Ages that ran one of those torture chambers and like what, what he did when he came home every evening. Oh, we, we were just having a, a thing. I, you know, it's funny. Silent Live did a sketch like that years and years ago. <laughs> like, like, so it's basically you know, just it was an executioner. Somebody in an, yeah, who came yeah. home. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just had like normal problems, yeah. normal life. Yeah. So like, let's, this guy would is, not die today. It yeah, just yeah, yeah. took me forever. Let's make a sitcom about Uday Hussein. Who's that? He's Saddam Hussein's son who son. ran all the torture chambers in Iraq. Like he's the guy that tortured the Olympic teams and shit when they came back and did No win. shit. Yeah. Like what? Abu Ghraib, all these prisons, are, he built them just to torture people. Is it weird that I think that Olympic athletes, like if you don't win for America, you should be tortured? You shouldn't be allowed to come back. No. Yeah. No. You got to stay in whatever <laughs> that agree. country is and live your life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like the Atlanta Braves last night. Uh, don't need to see that team ever again. Well, they, they were lost. already in Atlanta, so they could just stay there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just not play for the team anymore. <laughs> yeah. Just not play for the team anymore. Speaking of cum... Uh, we're going to get talk about Roman ED. Yes, get roman.com forward slash drinking bros. Boner pills. Can you guys just do the sketch live? Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh. What sketch are we doing live? I uh, like dicks, soft dicks, hard dicks. Yeah, boners. go to getroman.com forward slash drinking bros today. If you've, if you've got a little downer and you need an upper in it, 
Get, get Roman.com forward slash drinking bros. Get a boner. You get logs for ladies or for <laughs> men. Is that Up what you've been you. doing for these? Logs for ladies. It's what's, cool. What's logs We're for ladies? Cool. You only get, only get logs for ladies, guys. I don't think I've ever heard that phrase. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> oh, only get logs for women. Yeah, yeah. Nobody's heard this? No, that's great. Is that what they tell you? Um, I, d I forget where I heard it, but logs it was someone that ladies. was like trying to be like, I'm not gay, man. And it was like, I only get logs for ladies, bro. Oh, I like, I, <laughs> I like a nice Yule log. Where? What the hell? Yeah. Don't worry about it, Jared. Go to getroman.com <laughs> forward slash drinking bros today. We call it party boners around here. Uh, get yourself a party, party boner. Party yeah, party dude. Uh, yeah, slip a little bow tie down at the base boners. of that thing and go to work. Yeah, dude, you're good to go for the weekend, dude. We take it recreationally. But also, if you've got a problem, guess what? You don't have to go to your doctor and tell him you've got a fucking flaccid dick like Beto O'Rourke. This allows you to get a free doctor's visit online. They send it in a <laughs> discreet box and then boom, you're popping boners and then popping bottles. Uh, popping everything. Dude, ED and, and Luke Blair? Oh, yeah. That's a fun night, oh, huh? Man. Here's what I want to do. Ghost bed? Woo! Ghost bed, boner pills, Roman, and then Luke Blair. You're good. I want to try that. I want to try that night and document it. Please. I want to try. Uh, yeah, I, I, I need to. I need to get on and get that Roman. I want to try it. I'm surprised. I'm surprised you and your ex didn't just pop some Romans. Yeah, and, and I kind of thought you were. Yeah, doing I don't that. know. Yeah, generally, I, it takes like two girls to get me like really going. So it's like sure. It, yeah, it's been classic it's, it's, tale. It's been <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a tale as old as time. Like, that's been my time. Roman lately. Like, like, uh, just getting, just getting two sets of hands in there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let me ask boring. You this. Yes, uh, look, since we're we're talking about uh, popping boners and ladies with with the ex who was the porn star and all the fucked up shit you guys did, is it hard dating normal people now? I think there's an ex even after her, isn't there? No. Sounds like. Oh, okay. Go ahead. No, just a mm -hmm. just a little yeah. slam piece. Oh, just a, oh. I've been I've been running. I've been running so running this town. Okay, yeah. so yeah. what yeah. Is, is it different now? Like, because you guys did some fucked up shit, and she didn't really care. No, no, it's not different. I mean, everybody's different, so it's like it's not like you're accustomed to something. Some things are better. Some things are like, eh. Because you've been you've been big on two ladies at the same time and uh, and couples lately. So because I want I wanted to try that. Mostly dudes, though. Yeah, well, obviously. Oh, Is that what you say stop. when you're swinging? Do you look at the guy and you say, I only get logs for ladies? Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, while I you're go, doing it? I go, hey, you come here often? Do you say that? Do you say it like that? You say it while you're pointing at his wife's vagina? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you Ooh. come here often. Oh, God. <laughs> Anyways. Did I get Breaking any, news. Is there any in my beard? Help me get it out of my beard. <laughs> uh, there's an exorcism at Fort Bragg. Uh, there's a new horror film directed by Osgood Perkins entitled Incident at Fort Bragg that's set to begin filming soon. The film is based on a real-life incident involving a Catholic priest, uh, Malachi. Big fan of Malachi, the name. Uh, Martin. <laughs> and the time that the army asked him to perform an exorcism on base. You guys have been there. You, you, Dan and Jared. Is this is this real? Does that, does that is it a true story? I've never heard of this uh, before. I haven't heard of this either. But I know ever. that a lot of the uh, MK Ultra shit happened at Bragg back in the day. So that the experiments scientists were doing on fucking yeah. soldiers and all that bullshit. And yeah. Then, uh, with the 311th military the, intelligence group. The Manchurian <laughs> candidate. So was that yeah. so that was real? Like staring at goats was real? It wasn't just a shitty movie? It wasn't uh, not real. Yeah. Yeah, it's not uh, meaning obviously I don't, like jazzed up. Like there, there was there was at Fort Bragg in the special operations community and the 311th military intelligence. There was uh, there were there was this unit that was trying to do shit like that, like remote viewing mm -hmm. for intelligence. And there was there were some guys there that thought they could stare at goats until they died and shit. That's it was. So that's it, real, yeah, kind of, but it wasn't like as hyped up as the movie made it. Okay, it, it was just like experimentation and shit. And somebody heard about it, and like, oh, these people are fucking crazy. Yeah, they are. Relax. <laughs> but, okay, cool. so but, but did the military are. pay them to do that job? Yeah, I mean, the military paid me to fucking mow the lawn outside when my yeah, job was yeah, to murder yeah. people. So it's not like that's the biggest waste of money. It's because it sounds like a waste of money. You go and stare at these <laughs> goats, and we'll pay you to do that. And then if they die, congratulations. It's research, Ross. For for what? Yeah, everything is really at a certain Look, point, right? Know. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, did you just say you never know if you could kill a goat with yeah, your you eyes? Never know. Yeah. <laughs> what if we? What right? if we figured it out? Yeah. Man, I look. Yeah. Do you want to get into quantum entanglement and how atoms can communicate instantaneously over vast distances? I'd love to. Yeah, party. Let's <laughs> look do at it. Her. She's going full pang. Let's get into it. Full what? Penguin. Full pang. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you gotta you gotta get the booze to below the label before you start talking shit there. Yeah, it is. Jessie. It's right there. Oh, at that give top her a line. chug, Jesse. Come on, it's right Come at on. the top line. Jesse, chug that. Come okay, on, Heather. Give her I'll a pick chug. my kids up from school after. Lunch. Yeah, you will. Yeah, oh. you will. Like you're uh, any. You, the only difference between you and the other mom is you don't have Xanax in your fucking system. That's true. As well as the liquor. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> that's true. You don't know that. <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> yeah, but you kind of do know that. Yeah, you, you do kind of know but that. But you kind of know that. Yeah, you kind of know that. Yeah, uh, but you also kind of you kind of do know the opposite. I mean, she's married to you. She has to take something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah oh my yeah. God. <laughs> she has A couple to. things. Right, yeah. Yeah. In yeah. conjunction. I've got a hologram. I've got a candy flip for Christ's sake. <laughs> candy just out of flipping. Bed. She just oh she keeps getting her pupils dilated. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and just it's always it's like why is there always EDM blasting yeah, out of your yeah. fucking car? It's just yep. like I've got to deal with you, mm -hmm. Ross. I got to deal candy with candy flipping daily. S speaking of which, if you're candy flipping out there, you might need some glasses to wear. Felix Gray glasses dot com. Is it four slash them. drinking bros? I don't know. Yeah, it is. You're wearing them. You're wearing everybody wears these. Jared, do you wear these fucking things? <laughs> I haven't seen them yet. I need the some. blue light. The blue uh, light glasses. Blocking. Yeah. Every, I yeah. feel like everybody I'm wears these them. things now. Yeah, we'll get you some. I yeah. have not tried them yet. Yeah, because oh. we're on our phone all the time. You're on your phone all the time. You're on your computer all the I'm, time. I don't use my phone ever. You, Jared, Shut you've, been, up. you've been on the phone for. <laughs> Shut up, Jared. The entire show. Just <laughs> I don't swiping use my phone right, ever. <laughs> swiping right over and over again. Is she too yeah. easy? Get swipe that, right. Getting that Facebook dating on. That's oh, right. Yeah. I forgot about that. I forgot about Do that. Do you Look. have some reports? Okay. Yeah, but if you're oh. if you're looking at Facebook dating, because a lot of people are, sure, it's gonna hurt your eyes if you're not mm. wearing Felix Gray glasses. Uh, dot com forward slash drinking bros. Dan, you love these things. You've been wearing them before they came on the show, and then they they happen to be a yeah. Sponsor. They really help with the headaches. Yes, and the blurred vision and shit like that that you get from staring long days of staring at computer screens. I think it's like uh, something like sixty percent of all jobs now require you to look at a computer screen for an extended period of time per day. Yes, and the 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 national average is eleven hours of screen time a day per, per American. Yeah, yeah, which is almost half of your fucking day. And if you're spending Crazy. a third of it sleeping, that means something like ninety percent of your time awake. You're looking at a fucking screen. Staring at a screen. Yeah. Yeah. So go to felixgrayglasses.com <laughs> forward slash drinking bros. Free shipping on these. You've been wearing them forever. I, it's awesome that they became a sponsor. Yeah. Uh, We're going to meet up with them in New York, I think. Oh, nice. Nice. New York. New York. Oh. 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 <laughs> you going to New York? Uh, the douche in the book of goosh. Yeah. Well, this just hit every <laughs> what? single. That's the my hell? Italian. <laughs> every single. Uh, uh, the douche in the gagoosh. Yeah. Race, country, everything today. We're going yep. for it. Going for it. I'm uh, Italian. What do you em. want from me? I'm Italian. Hey. I mean, yeah, if you're if you're hitting everybody, then you're not re you can't be racist. No, you can't be. That's not true. Yep, but it is. Yep. <laughs> Fuck Irish people. I'm Irish. Yeah, it's what not, else? Yeah. Well, we need to hit all the white people, tall people. Let's, sure. Yeah, we can hit them all. Uh basketball people. Yeah, bass fishermen. <laughs> basketball um, the, people. Uh, uh yeah, rhinoceros. Rhinoceros hunters. I think it's rhinocerai. I mean, I, rhinocerai. By the way, your angler video was one of my favorites the other day that you put on Instagram. Oh yeah, yes. I got a few I more. Like that uh, I, and I wanted there to too. congratulate you. You, you just hit a hundred thousand followers on Instagram. Thank That's you. a big deal, Thank man. Uh, at JT, That's, what is it? At JT Article Fifteen. Art Fifteen. That's it. That's it. Matt, yeah. Yeah. Matt. Matt gave me a little push that night and did it. Nice. Was it? About, from behind seven or eight hundred my way yeah, yeah. nice yeah. nice look at that That's what'd nice. you give him yeah in return uh, yeah, yeah, no blammo yeah. blammo next up climate protesters refuse to accept the fact that their profits have been wrong about the end of the world dozens of times over the last 50 years um man this this is the thing where it's like look the the world was going to end in 12 years and then it hasn't yeah uh, well or, they've said that Repeatedly since the 1960s, like it's yeah. it's almost like Jehovah's Witnesses or something, where they continue to inaccurately predict the end of the world over and over. Yeah, and for some reason, people keep believing it, and now it's become more ubiquitous. It's like a religion now. 
It's like it's two times on ubiquitous today. Yeah. So think about it from this perspective. If if you genuinely thought that the world was going to end in 12 years, if you didn't like the whole world's going to end, all your family's dead, everything. Yeah. In 12 years, unless you do something, that's how extremism is born. Yeah. Right. And it's, yeah. it's not enough that they're pushing this agenda without enough evidence, but there's so much evidence showing that their prediction, their predictive model has been wrong for a half a century now Mm -hmm. they've been predicting it incorrectly so at no point do these people pause and say hey the people giving me this information have been wrong most of the time and the the reason we bring this up so there was a protest (laughs) in amsterdam this week where they blocked all the major roads just with signs that said sorry we blocked the road but this is an emergency that's how it starts yeah that's how it starts how did they get these people out of the streets uh with a fucking bulldozer as far as i'm concerned forklift yeah yeah. Pitch, pitchfork? I don't know. Get out of the way. And then uh, Wall Street, people were throwing red paint on themselves uh, and the Wall Street <laughs> Bowl meant to evoke the impending environmental catastrophe. Right. So it well, used... Uh, go ahead. Well, but what is it? <laughs> we don't, what is it? Yeah. Like, that's, a, that's what I mean. What has changed, you know, just from a hard fact standpoint, what has changed now that from 40 years ago? Is the air dirtier? Like... Yes. Our air that we're breathing right now, yes, is it dirtier. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. How I mean, by how much? One. Uh, I don't know about. I don't, it's it's in uh, gigatons is how you measure carbon in the. Uh, Either way, you go to Los yeah. Angeles, you go to Atlanta. Is the sun hotter? You go to Salt Lake City. The sun's not harder, hotter, but the amount of uh, so, yeah, the amount of heat that the Earth retains is based on how much carbon is in the atmosphere. So, sunlight comes in, photons come in, and usually they go out. But if <laughs> The atmosphere is too thick, then they can't get back out. It's called a runaway greenhouse effect. That's what happened on Venus. Venus probably at some point was a habitable planet. Mm. Maybe mm. two billion years ago. This is the time scale we're talking about. And in a billion years, the Earth is probably going to be fucked. You're right. Yeah. So don't in, in the meantime, care. Yeah, I got about thirty years left on this on this fucker. So yeah, uh, <laughs> just uh, not not my problem. Yeah. Thirty years, you think? Probably, maybe mm-hmm. less. Uh, it depends on how much I keep drinking. Uh-huh. Guess who I'm going to be texting? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> At 70. Yeah. Remember that, movie? Yep. Remember that movie we did together? Now's my time. Now's to show. my time. Hey, girl. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> like, All right. That's the skit we need to do. Just old ass makeup. Just uh, yeah. gross. We talked about Finally. it on, on last night's episode. Just, yeah. Just, oh, yeah. what? We're in old people costumes, spooning, and she's just still <laughs> talking shit to me. Like, <laughs> yeah. uh, Shut up, you. Oh, yeah. yeah. I yeah. can feel your stomach on me. <laughs> yeah. Still. Still. This is the best I can do, huh? Yeah, we, yeah. Were, we were talking about yesterday on yesterday's show, uh, when you're 70, if your significant other dies, mm-hmm. and then you, because you're, you know, with phones, you're going to have everybody's old phone numbers and stuff. Sure. You text an old fling, and then right. you guys get together, <laughs> and then you look at nudes of each other uh, and have oh. sex of when you were younger. Okay. So, you know. And those will be, like, holograms. big projected? Probably. Oh, okay. In, in, at that yeah. point, at holograms. That point. Yeah. Oh, no, we could probably project them on our bodies. Like, yes. Hey, I oh, want you shit. At 30. Yeah, 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 we yeah, yeah. yeah. You just Probably wear that, gr- that green man suit. You know, and then you just you just slide your iPad and you like kind of grab the photo and go boom. And oh, like, OK. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like a Snapchat a, filter for your entire yeah. body. body. Yeah. And that way it's like, hey, you don't <clears throat> want to look at the 70 year old you're boning. Great. Sure. You can look at them when they're, they're 30. They make a Snapchat filter for your entire body, by the way. It's called the gym. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Planet Fitness. Ah, nope. Really. How do you yep. spell nope. that? How do you spell that? Uh, J I M. Yeah. The gym. It's a, it's a gym. That's Gaim, you loser. That's Gaim, you loser. Next up, former U.S. Navy pilot says mystery dark mass emerged from the ocean and swallowed torpedo. This is Fravor, the guy that's been on Rogan lately. Yes. He was on Joe Rogan. Yeah. Yeah. So back in the day, he got famous for his account of what happened on the USS Nimitz back in the day. Yeah. You remember the story? Uh, like, Is that when it went back in time right before World War II? Nope. Uh, no, no, not at all. Yeah. No, no, no. It was, uh, he, was, he was the guy that said he and his weapons officers, he was like a UH-53 pilot, mm-hmm. C stallion, uh, and he said he and his weapons officer actually engaged with a UFO. By engaged with, that means fired weapons at. Okay. Uh, and... <clears throat> Now he's telling a story that happened 13 years prior to that one uh-huh. where he was out on a fucking, uh, he was trying to recover a torpedo 
So it was a launch torpedo. I guess it didn't detonate. So he goes out in his UH-53, right? And there's a winch with a diver. Yep. The diver goes down on the winch, fucking cables up this torpedo. They carry it out, whatever the fuck. They recover it. Yeah. As the diver was going down, some guy starts screaming that to pull the diver back up. Like, what the fuck? The diver's, like, right near the water. He's like, pull it back up. So they pull him back up, and all of a sudden, this giant dark mass came out. And he says it looks like it sucked the torpedo down into it and then disappeared. So, and they're saying aliens on this one? Because I, don't I, know. I have another theory. I, I have, uh, like, when things like this happen, mm-hmm. um, w- remember that invisible dome, Jared, that went over Israel where you could fire rockets? Iron Dome. Yes. Um, I think that other countries, probably China because they're smarter than us, have developed some form of technology <laughs> like this in case they get fucking bombed. Mm-hmm. And then they test it out at weird spots of the ocean just to see if it actually Maybe, works. Yeah. I mean, most UFO sightings are uh, uh, test planes and shit like that from the U.S. military, the Air Force. Yeah, because uh, the, the latest one they, they're saying over uh, Outer Banks, uh, Jared, and they said a lot of those are out of Fort Bragg. Is that true? Like they do a lot of tests out there over the Outer Banks? Outer Banks of uh, North Carolina. I mean, Carolina. there's a lot of stuff that goes on, yeah, in the Outer Bank. That's Dare County Range. That's a bombing range out there. Oh, it is. Yeah. So, so is a lot of that shit because they always get calls from, from the Outer Banks, and they say, hey, man, we've had all these UFO sightings. Is that what it really is? Yeah, of yeah, course no, it no, is. No, no, it's, it's low-flying aircraft. I mean, you have a bombing range in Dare County. Yeah, imagine, like, think about Vegas. And uh, BT eleven. It's uh, how, how far? How far is Vegas from Area fifty one? Like eighty miles. Eighty eight miles. <laughs> yeah. Bless so you. the biggest, like one of the biggest bombing centers in the U S. is just right there in Vegas or nearby. One of the biggest air force, not biggest, but one of the most active air force bases. Now it's mostly drones, I believe. At yeah. The, uh, the northernmost one, but they're all over the place there. It's just such a coincidence that all these UFO sightings happen near Air Force bases where they're <laughs> exactly. testing planes all the time. <laughs> where they're testing See? things that are painted Told weird. told losers. Shut yeah, up. But, Je- Jesse refuses to believe in US UFOs. So. Uh, well, well, what? I don't, I don't, it's, for me, it's just, I just want to bang that alien. I don't care about the UFO. I don't care about the new technology. I don't care about the threat to our species. I mean, but you got to put this in perspective. Think about this. Imagine... Imagine we, like the four of us, mm-hmm. jump it. We, we are able, we have a ship that can travel to different, to different places, and, and we're able to go as far as we want. So, you know, us growing up with this capability, we're looking in different solar systems. We're like, fuck, you know what? No one's ever been to Earth. Let's go to Earth. Yeah. And imagine, imagine we, we, you know, uh, um, imagine we go to their version of like lower Alabama. And, Oof. you know, we're thinking, like, <laughs> we're going to land. We're going to get out, like, hey, so who's in charge here? Like, <laughs> yeah. I didn't, I didn't even <laughs> Let want to me go talk to our to some version people. of Lower Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> so. Watch it. No. Easy. It's like, what happens if, if they're intercepted by the wrong people and they're like, oh, man, uh, all right. Yeah, we're not coming back here. Yeah, like, what, a, what, yeah. If, what if all those hillbillies that are complaining about getting probed are asking the aliens for the probes it's really the aliens that are fucked on this whole thing <laughs> they're, maybe they're like wait what <laughs> yeah yeah like yeah okay, we, I mean, we, I we guess got we'll like, we no, got man, sucked we up into the spaceship like, and they started putting stuff in our butt no yeah. one ever asked them well did you ask them to put stuff in your butt because i guarantee yeah. you the yes. answer would be yes yeah so like, what well, kind of, well, yeah uh, but they did it man yeah. hell yeah what kind of energy uh solutions do you guys have no man go ahead and put something in my butt yeah, exactly. Yeah, we hit They're all like, that information okay. up inside of my butthole. You're going to have to get in there and find it. <laughs> Just go on up there rooting around for a little while. Yeah, so no aliens. Nope, nope. What, what the real deal is, is there's a bunch of aliens out there. There are entire civilizations that think humanity is keeping all of its information inside of its asshole. Maybe. So they're <laughs> done. They're done with us, basically. It's yeah, like, I do. Yep, we're good. Yeah. What, what's the Dennis Quaid movie, or is it Rick Moranis? Dennis Quaid. Honey, I shrunk the kids. Well, yeah. Where he shrunk his kids? Yeah, isn't there a little tiny spaceship in somebody's body? No, that's the Dennis uh, Quaid no, movie. What's that no, one called? That's the one where, uh, yeah. It's Jared, called, you should know uh, this one. Uh, Jared, this, dude, I know you it. You should it's, know it's like this the one. Bo- where he goes inside the body. Yes. yes. Yeah. Quaid. I remember that one. Ah, classic. Are you sure Quaid. this isn't a Randy Quaid movie? No. No, it's, it's Quaid. It's it's, it's uh, Dennis, man, on this one. But uh, oh, boy. surprised you don't know. Yeah, we asked the J- Jesse. You asked the seen wrong it. person. So huh? personal many computer. times. I, it's yes, not we frequency, have. which is really good. No, not even close. Um, I don't know what it is. No, nah, no, nah, the computers don't Nobody work. Would... I think it's the rookie. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. Not, not even. No, rookie of the year. 
That's yeah, that's it. Ah, is. there it is. Yeah, I think it was Crash. Yeah, it's where nope. the where the baseball, you know, the the uh, the made the kid the kid breaks his arm and then he becomes a pro pitcher. Nope. Yeah, Gary Busey. Together, yeah, yeah, Busey. Gary Busey. Busey. Busey was on Barstool yesterday. Was it I called Inner Space? Oh, really? Inner Space. There I think so. Yes. Go. Inner Space. That doesn't go. sound right, yes. but is that right? No, yeah. it definitely is. They yeah. were inside the body. Inner Space. Yeah. Oh yeah, but you know who well, else was in it? I should have known this. Martin Short. Yep. That's what I said. Uh, oh, oh no, I said uh, Rick Moranis. Same person. Yeah, same. not hey, uh, the same person. How did Gary Busey do on Barstool? Boy, I don't. They were playing clips of it yesterday, and uh, a lot of laughter out of Gary. Not a lot of questions. Oh, it's for really? him to laugh at. So. He's uh, he's going through it right now. When they take out, uh, you know, nineteen percent of your brain after a motorcycle crash. Things it's are going to happen. Gonna be r- I mean, interviews are going to be tough. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a, a rough go round. But we're still trying to get him on the show for you, Jared. I want you to know that. <laughs> I know that's your dream, guest. We are still fighting for that. And, Not, uh, my, my, my dream for him is to either A, be the head of our space program, or B, mm-hmm. be the cook uh, <laughs> in our submarine movie. Mm. <laughs> hey, hey. I came, up, I came up with a new dish. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who says he can't be both? Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. Uh, next up, audio, email, and email evidence shows the DNC colluded with the Ukraine to boost Hillary by harming Trump, a report says. Uh, since the election, <laughs> the left has ran with the premise that Trump somehow contracted, contracted uh, the Russians in some way or another to help him win the election. Based on this audio recording, it seems like the anti-corruption prosecutor who got removed then convicted by the Ukraines was actually helping the Clinton campaign. Uh, that's that's crazy. We're, this is all getting way too House of Cards. Is it real though? Like, is any of this real? Know. That's what I don't Nobody understand. Knows. Everybody no, this, says the opposite. Everybody says because this was on the else. Daily Wire, which is a fairly reputable site. But yeah. is any site reputable anymore? I don't know. Uh, but Not really. this this is an actual recording of the guy talking. It's hard to fake that. Uh, look, have you seen the what is it the the fakening on Instagram? Like they're faking everything these days. That's that's deep fake with faces. It's not voices. Who got popped yesterday? It was uh, Patton Oswald posted a video of of uh, Trump, and uh, then he had to issue an apology because it was fake. Um, so this is happening more and more and more. Oh wow! Yep. Yeah. What? What? So <laughs> what did he? What did they say in this fucking thing? Um, so it turns out that this guy who was in charge of the corruption, he's the guy that got convicted in the Ukraine of releasing the quote unquote black ledger Mm -hmm. that had information about Trump trying, uh, actually was about Manafort giving money to the Ukrainian president or whatever. Yes. Um, Manafort's in jail forever for that basically. Mm -hmm. Uh, but this guy said that like the guy was like, Oh, it looks like this helped Hillary. They were trying to help Hillary and it says are uh, trying to help Trump because yeah, I was trying to help too, but not Trump. I was trying to help Hillary. And then he go- goes on to detail what he meant by that, including the fact that he released that dossier specifically to fuck Trump over. Right. And uh, that it, uh, he didn't say this on the tape, but he has a, a very strong relationship with uh, the person that was over there trying to do the investigation, trying to get that information from him. Yeah. Is a woman named Alexandra Chalupa, which sounds delicious, by Chalupa. the way. Chalupa. Yeah, those uh, are on sale now at Taco Bell. Um, you can get yeah. two for four dollars. So when the Black Ledger came out, she was at, she's a she's a long time DNC operative. She's an employee of the DNC. Okay, and she was over there in the Ukraine trying to get her hands on this Black Ledger. And then the guy who gave it to them says he, that he was intentionally trying to help Hillary. To me, that is the most strong evidence we've seen of collusion this whole time. Like we never found anything between Trump specifically and the Russians. But we definitely now have a smoking gun that the DNC was trying to do what they're, they've been accusing Trump of doing this whole goddamn time. This is actual concrete evidence now. Yeah, but I, so here, here's the deal with all this shit to me. Republicans and, and Democrats, they're always trying to dig up dirt on people. So like, I, like with the Ukraine thing, I don't give a fuck. I it's, expect it. Here's, here's I the expect difference. That. Here's the difference. It's illegal. Yeah. yeah. It is illegal for anybody to uh, particularly the campaign or the uh, the committee to go over to a foreign country and ask their government to help them dig up dirt on a guy that's running for president. That is illegal. What you're supposed to do is go through our FBI, right? Yep. Got it. But if the kid is FBI, can you do that? He's what, what's not. He, yeah, what is he? The what? kid? Yeah, Hunter. 
No, he's not FBI. He's Hunter, not. Hunter Biden. So he's he's no one because a few no. weeks ago on the show there was possible mention that he was a, a he knock, could he right? could be an agent. That's that's CIA. That's not yeah. FBI. That's not yeah, FBI. whatever, man. That's, that's not the it's, same. It's three letters. It's the same. Nope. Yep, very close. They play by very different so, rules. So, but right, that's what you're and supposed he, he to would, do. He would be considered an asset, not an agent, or not an officer. Okay. So, at any rate, uh, what you what you're required to do is, yes, yeah, submit it to the Department of Justice. You to can't, your own department, not ask another country to do. Yeah, it is. It is illegal. It is illegal for to ask if you if you're a fucking democratic operative. It is illegal to go over to Ukraine and talk to government officials there. But by the way, that's almost a violation of the Logan Act, which prevents U.S. citizens from negotiating with foreign diplomats and foreign governments without the express written consent of Major League Baseball. Right. Uh, the president. Yeah. Um, this is very, very illegal, and no one is talking about it. Like, it's the first thing that's technically illegal, like literally illegal, mm -hmm. that's been discovered this whole time that has to do with Trump or Hillary. <laughs> Well, I, let's, it's only going to get fucking worse. Uh, Jared, did you see the thing where uh, Hillary this week said she might run? Don't tempt her. Yeah, isn't she announcing Sunday? What? Oh, Are, is, is that real? real? That's what I saw. Yeah, she said she, that she'll, Stop she'll give the announcement Sunday. It. No fucking way. Is that well, real? She'll give the announcement either yeah, way. That's, yeah, she's going to give the announcement. She's going to say yes. yes oh, or whether or not she's yeah. going to run e either way on Sunday. Why may, Why even make an announcement if you weren't even considering know. it? You know what I'm saying? I did not hear that. That's fucking crazy, Jared. Uh, you just popped up with that, and then you just dipped out. Uh, that's amazing. Jesus Christ. Uh, what if she does? Fucking A. I mean, it just becomes more of a clown show. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's all it <laughs> It would be, man, that would be fun to watch, that whole fucking thing. Yeah, because, wait, I mean, how does it work, though, now? You know, beforehand, she was running against Trump, and they both weren't president. Now Trump is president. Yeah. If he wants to open an investigation on her ass, he can. Yeah, but she can do a lot of other things that he can't because he is now president and she is a not private citizen, but she's a private citizen. Right. Yeah. yeah. So that's why, you know, that's how he got away with a lot of stuff during his campaign because he wasn't president. People will like harken back to him talking to Russia you're like, he wasn't the fucking president. He can say whatever he wants to. It's not illegal. Yeah. Uh, Jared's, now it is. Jared's got a porn called uh, Private Citizen Public Pussy uh, that's coming out soon. So <laughs> look out for that. 2020. 2020. Yeah, 2020. Uh, speaking of 2020, Trump and Syria. Um, man, this is... Uh, did we really butt fuck the Kurds in this situation? Will this be a part, a major part of the 2020 campaign? I don't know if it'll be part of the 2020 campaign, but we absolutely butt fuck the Kurds again. 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 You guys, again, you guys were again. over there. What's your, what's, what's your feelings on I think this, they're Jared? the only fucking I didn't normal... Work with them. I think they're the only normal human beings in the fucking Middle East. That's what I think. Dang. Okay. Uh, they fight hard, and all they want is like a home, basically. They just want to chill. Like they're gotcha. Not, they're, they're and not. The other people against them won't let them do that. Correct. Yeah. I mean, they want their own. Look, that it, it's a it's an interesting debate on what we should have done there, but just leaving them to their own devices, leaving Syria, leaving Ergadan, who's a goddamn. Oh man, he's like another pending Shah of Iran, basically. Yeah. Like he's he's a president, but he's a fucking dictator. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's different with this guy because Turkey used to have. Uh, is he taking a shit? What's going yep. on over there? Yep. He's got a quick dump out from Jared. Yep. Only he could make a Thanks little more noise. Thanks for letting us know. Um, at any rate, there's there's a a form of government in Turkey that historically has been intentionally and very specifically uh, not religious. Mm -hmm. Like they keep that shit separate as as much as possible. Now he's kind of gone back on that. And it's it seems very coincidental that all of a sudden now they want to go after ethnic Kurds, you know, that have been causing them problems. Sure. Um, wow, that's loud. Our <laughs> um, Jared's children. He let him back in. Uh, so so let me ask you this here. Uh, we'll get to the, we'll get to the brass of this. Yep. Trump's statement was going over to the Middle East was a gigantic mistake in the first place, and somebody's got to get all of our troops out of there. And, and I'll, I'll essentially be the asshole on this one. What's the thought to that, of just leaving these people to fucking fight to the death? Because that's what yeah, they're going to do anyways. You're screwing a bunch of people over that, you know, we made promises to. Yeah. Hey, if you help us, we'll, we'll yeah. do this. Yeah. Quarter. This isn't the first time we owe them. But yeah. how do you get out There's, of there anyways, is, is my question. I don't know. 
I don't, I don't have that. Stop answer. your dependence on foreign oil. That's how you do it. Right. But but we're not in a position to do that right now. So well, it's not going to happen. Well, his, his, and it's and fucking again, naive to think that we can just fucking leave there and there aren't going to be fucking consequences. We thought that shit in Afghanistan back in the day. I'm going to run through some of the parallels between Al Qaeda and the Taliban and this current situation, and you can tell me what you think. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, so for those of you who haven't seen the movie Charlie Wilson's War, or read his book, yeah. Char- Charlie Wilson was a, a, a legislative guy from Texas, played by Tom Hanks. Played by Tom Hayes. Great movie, by the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, I would follow that with some actual research on the subject. Don't just watch the movie, obviously. But it's a really <laughs> yeah, good movie. Yeah, movie. Charlie Wilson's War is a good movie. You're it's fine. a, it's just a watch really the, good movie. Watch the movie. Essentially, we assisted the Mujahideen in their fight against Russia from 1978 to like 1989 when the Iron Curtain fell. So like 1990, really. But we were kind of bailing by 89. Um, and we abandoned them. So Wilson, there's actually a scene at the end of the movie where Wilson goes back and he's looking for appropriations for new schools in Afghanistan. Like, hey, let's educate these people now that we've helped them out. And they're like, nah, fuck that. America just abandoned those people. Yeah. And the Taliban and Al Qaeda came in and took over that whole fucking country. Like overnight, basically. <laughs> and we just fucking left. Um, and before that, Al Qaeda was like, I think they were formed by uh, bin Laden back in the late 70s. But he wasn't anti-West back then. He was anti-Russia. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? <clears throat> At any rate, because of that, because of the sentiment it created where the West is the enemy now, mm-hmm. like they fucked us over, they left us, they created Al-Qaeda and it became the largest terror organization in the world. And now, <clears throat> excuse me. So why not just bomb the shit out of them, leave the fucking place, and then that's it, man. Bomb the shit out of whom? Al-Qaeda or ISIS or whoever's left. Because they are like criminals. They don't, a, they, don't, a, they don't. They don't. They don't wear uniforms and stand. Yeah, in line. it's not a. It's not a. Yeah, it's not a linear. We don't even know where they all are. You don't okay. even know. It's like. It's like. It's a mad, It's like a pocket of a gang. A gang or a pocket of an yeah. organized crime unit. Like <clears throat> you know, it's like saying, "Hey, why don't we go Blow bomb New York all or of, something?" All, yeah. No, no. Or, let's bomb all the all the uh, Irish mafia out of Boston. Like, okay, where where do we start? Okay, we don't know. Oh, just bomb all of Boston. <laughs> What's the problem? Yep. So the Kurds start the, fucking rolling with it. The, the Kurds are more rational, typically, than some of their uh, other Arab counterparts. But uh, we abandoned them in the Gulf War. We told them that if you help us, if you stand up to Saddam now, we'll fucking march to Baghdad and fuck his shit up. This is ninety one, ninety two, right? Uh, we got a couple of like hundred miles, I think, into ba- into Iraq, and we're like, ah, oh, we're done. It's all good now. Yeah, we, we left. And then Saddam started dropping mustard gas on all their villages in northern Iraq. Killed tens of thousands of these people. So we fucked them over that time. Uh, Now we're doing it again. And, man, it it creates a power vacuum, right? If if you think that America's got your back, it's like Israel. If we all of a sudden stopped helping Israel, there's going to be consequences of that. Uh, And now that we've stopped helping these fucking people, there's already two major organizations, the YPG and and PKK, Mm -hmm. that are major terrorist organizations. And look, I understand from from Turkey's standpoint why they would want to defend themselves against these assholes. But, uh, you know, it doesn't matter that we create them. You still have to defend yourself against them. But it's a very small part of the population. And if you think Turkey is going to be doing special operations and surgical strikes no they sent line infantry and tanks and, and aircraft in. that's what they did and, they're gonna uh, fucking and, and mechanized armor yeah or, uh, yeah mech infantry they're gonna kill all these people they're gonna kill probably fifty thousand people uh in a couple of weeks that'd be my guess and when the kurds regroup eventually because they will everybody always does um they're gonna come after us like the YPG and PKK, they're going to be the next group to fly planes into American buildings or blow stuff up or whatever the case is. Okay. And they're a lot more organized. Got it. Than all kind of they're a lot more. They're a lot more trained. Yeah, and, and by the way, the reason I'm asking you in playing devil's advocate on this one is a lot of people don't know what's going on over there, and they're just like, I don't understand why we can't just pick up and leave like Vietnam and just get the fuck out of there. I mean, the, Dan has a very valid point. These guys... These guys actually could conduct massive operations against us over here. Because mm. they're that organized and they're that smart. 
They're, we they're, fucked they're, them yeah, over that a, bad. Yeah, we've also yeah. armed them, right? We've also armed them. We've yes. armed and trained them. Yes. So nobody, the Peshmerga and the and the not so much the PKK or the YPG organizations, but uh, you know it, it becomes like that, right? So the the Free Syrian Army, we trained some of those guys, and, and half of them are fucking Al Qaeda, ah. right? But the, but Bashad al Assad was a bigger threat, and ISIS was a bigger threat than Al Qaeda was at the time. Uh, it was a weird parallel where in the uh, we were fighting uh, uh, Shia militias in Iraq. And at the same time, helping them fight against the Sunni Ba'ath Party in Syria, right? At the same time, those are fucking neighbors. Uh, and now the Kurds, the other party there, fucking them over. So basically, we, we just pissed everybody off. And the one group that's been loyal to us the whole time and never given us personally any grief, we're just like, eh, we stepped aside and let them get their shit pushed in. Mm-hmm. If you think there's not going to be consequences of that, uh, you're fucking stupid. And to be honest, Trump is fucking stupid. This is about the dumbest thing I've ever seen him do. For, uh, on this topic in general yeah and uh, he's he's losing the support of a lot of people in the gop and i think honestly if he keeps pressing this it could he could lose in 2020 uh lindsey graham came out <laughs> and, and spoke out against it yeah. over and over and over again so my thing is like there's not enough people around him that know shit like this or he doesn't care i don't think like he's, he's been... I, I just think he's naive when it comes to foreign policy but there has to be people like around him that will tell deal. him. Okay. Well, I mean, he's kicked out all of his generals now. Yeah. Or they've all left one way or the other. Probably Kelly, because of Kelly's, stuff like this, yeah. Kelly's in jail. Uh, Mattis left. Yep. Yeah. So, like, look. I, I mean, also, though, too, like, even at a smaller scope, like, you've dealt with some of these situations before in your life where it's like you have a friend that does business over here and a friend that does business over here and they don't like each other. But you... You have nothing to do with that, right? Right. You're, you're, yeah. But then it comes to that, that, that point where one of them is like, hey, if you keep doing that with them, I'm fucking cutting you out and you have to start weighing your options. And that's what it sounded like Turkey did, you know, right? Oh, okay. Like they were, they yeah. were like, hey, hey, you're making a decision now. You're not, we, we've been an enemy of the Kurdish oh, okay. people yeah, for yeah, what? Yeah. 40 years. You can't hang years. out with her anymore if yeah, you want to be exactly. my friend. You see what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And that's what this sounds like it is. And it sounds like he's, <clears throat> he's jumping to a decision too quickly without the right advisors going, ah, you Long know, term. we could yeah. afford to, to tell Turkey to just fuck themselves. <laughs> well, the problem is the Kurds, <laughs> yeah. the Kurds don't own any oil. They don't own any mineral rights. They don't own they, any, and they don't have. They don't really have land. They don't, they don't, have land. Have land they don't, yeah. they don't have land. They don't have political power. The Saudis do. The Saudi government is the biggest piece of shit government on this earth. Eighty percent of the schools, the elementary schools, the primary schools, we don't even call them there, are madrasas where they teach death to America. They also export that to Afghanistan to the entire Middle East. So they are Saudi. The Saudi royal family pays for all these schools to be propped up and all these fucking poor-ass uh, Arab countries to teach everybody fuck the West, basically. And we send them hundreds of billions of dollars in military aid a year. We buy their oil and all this shit. We should have blown that country off the face of the earth 50 fucking years ago. But instead, we're going to stand to the side and let the Kurds get fucked over again. Um, <clears throat> this is not a, a problem that's isolated to Trump, but I think if, if there's a genocide here, mm-hmm. there's a good chance he loses. In 2020, I would say I would say he probably I would say he definitely loses if there's a genocide for the Kurdish people. Right. Yep. OK. All right. Uh, let's uh, let's close this out with Project Peacekeeper, Dan. Uh, yep. what, what, what's uh, what do you got going on here with Project so, Peacekeeper? Project Peacekeeper is uh, it's created to establish like a sense of pride in the LEO community. Mm-hmm. Right. And uh, it, it's actually started by some veterans, I believe. Um they want to give back and all this stuff, so they made these watches. I think we had one here. I don't know if it's we still do. here or not. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we have one. Uh, but they made uh, – they have a fucking – hold on. I've got a Thin picture. blue line watch. It was uh, G-Shock, right? Yeah, it's a G-Shock. Thin mm-hmm. blue line watch, and then they have the Betsy Ross flag Oakley sunglasses. They're yep. both for sale. If you go to projectpeacekeeper.org forward slash drink it, bros, you can buy them. Uh, you can, I think you can donate stuff. Uh, and for the cops that get them, if they get damaged – if you're if you're an LEO out there and you buy this watch, mm-hmm. uh, if it gets damaged in the line of duty, they will replace it for you for free, um, and all that stuff. So it's it's good. It's a charity organization. Ten percent of all the sales are actually going back to the same some of the same organizations that Black Rifle donates to, including uh, 
Let's see. I think uh, I can't remember the name of it now. Shit, I forgot it. Gotta stop getting high. The on black. Air. <laughs> no, stop it's. I, I think it's charity the air. black rifle. Donates yeah, I think to? it's. I think it's FPOE, the Fraternal Order of Police, and then there's another one. What is it, Jared? It's the Fraternal Order of the Badge or Fraternal Order of the Police. Yeah, okay. but then there's a second one that they donate to. The black rifle also donates to, and what they do is they buy a gear. For police officers and, and lower income districts that can't afford to buy them protective equipment like vests and, and shit like that. Okay. So it's a great organization. Our friends run it. Um, the all, all the watches, like I said, they get damaged in the line of duty. Actually, if they just get damaged and you're a cop, you get a free one. That's so, great. Yeah. That's, awesome. That's great. Yeah. Uh, Matt was wearing the sunglasses. Um, the Oakley sunglasses are amazing. Again, they've got the Betsy yeah, Ross really good, yeah. uh, flag on there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the watch is incredible. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually gave it to my uh, neighbor. Yep. It was uh, a cop. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're doing some great things yeah. there. Uh, wild show here. I don't know that we're going to be on the air anymore after this. So, uh, uh, you know, we'll make some adjustments. <laughs> <laughs> we had a good run. We have offended yeah. everyone in this we life. 25 shows. <laughs> yeah, it'll be us and uh, Alex Jones on together on InfoWars. <laughs> Uh, except we will not be giving out any real info. Uh, for Jared Taylor, <laughs> D'Anthony, D'Anthony Holloway, Jesse Wiseman, I'm Ross Patterson. This is the Drinking Bros Fake News. Wait, do we, we're we throwing it to Top of Stacy real quick. Yes, for everybody oh. who stayed for the video show, Top of Stacy, what's the weather like out there in California? They have no electricity. California, it's sunny again. You betcha. Good night, everyone. <laughs>